everybody, Mark Brooks here with AOB TV. You're watching the Major League Swing Analysis Breakdown where you tell me whose swing you'd like to see next in the next video and I'll give you some hitting tips today that'll make you a better hitter tomorrow. So today we have Evan Goddess. And just in case you guys don't know who he is, um, he's the right fielder, catcher, first baseman for the Atlanta Braves. He's going to get a lot more playing time this year because of McCann leaving to the Yankees. And what's more important, what's most interesting, what I want to share with you guys is his story. Evan has an incredible story um, and he serves as an, an, an awesome, an incredible example and model for a lot of you young guys who may feel like you know you, you, may, you may not have the talent that you think a lot of the other players have. So I want to give you guys, um, well, first I want to share with you guys um, why I think Evan is such a great hitter. He's a very powerful hitter. And as you notice, Evan's in a really athletic stance. Um, he's uh, got some pre-movement going on. You'll notice that um, as the pitcher gets ready to release the baseball, Evan has a slight uh, weight shift, okay? And as he begins his weight shift, you'll actually see his hips kind of cock. Um, this is something that Ted Williams taught a lot back in the 70s, early 80s, uh, when Wade Boggs and Don Mattingly were in their prime. Um, this is something that he would you know, have long conversations with these guys, and this is exactly what Evan's doing right here. So notice, I talk about this all the time, notice how Evan uh, generates that torque. And you'll see it as he cocks his hip and as he gets his separation with his hands. You see how his hands go back and uses his hips to pull his hands through the zone. You, sh you see the torque so much that uh, you actually can see the, the crease in his jersey. Uh, this is an incredible, uh, just really effective indication of a guy generating torque is you'll see that their jersey or their uniform has a, a crease. It looks like you're twisting uh, twisting an option, like a rubber band. You can actually see the creases. And that's where his power comes from. Uh, Evans uh, looks like a lumberjack when he's swinging a baseball, uh, swinging a bat at a baseball, and you can see the sheer power. Uh, this guy's athletic, and he's fun to watch. So what I recommend you guys do is during this season, you know, if you guys are watching the Atlanta Braves, really watch his approach. Uh, it's very simple. You know, he doesn't have any extra movement. Uh, he does exactly what he needs to do to hit the ball as hard as he can. Another thing is that he has really, really, really minimal head movement. Uh, if you compare his uh, an object behind him to his head, you'll notice that in relation to that, his head doesn't move a lot. And what this does is this allows him to pick up the pitch, the, the speed, the rotation, the trajectory um, effectively. Uh, another guy that did this really well was Derek Jeter. You know, Evan basically has the same exact swing as Derek Jeter or the same exact approach. Um, he's just a little bit more of a power hitter. Um, so that's pretty much it. What you can do to, to kind of implement this for you guys is to do a lot of tee work. Tee work, tee work, tee work. Hit the ball up the middle. Uh, practice hitting the ball into the top right corner if you're a right-hander or top left corner if you're a left-hander. And really just focus on getting in your leg. You can do compound lifts, squats, deadlifts to get that type of power that Evan has. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Before you go, I want to share with you guys a few things that you may not have known about Evan. Now, Evan... Uh, was kind of like what I had mentioned about Josh Donaldson with a late bloomer. Uh, and I don't mean late bloomer in regards to talent, but late bloomer in regards to getting his chance to play uh, and his opportunity to shine. That's what we all want. And you know, the, you, the beautiful thing about baseball, guys, is that when you get to a certain level, you're going to be evaluated on a daily basis, all right? So you need to have perspective. If you go 0 for 4 today, guess what? You're going to wake up and you're going to get another chance tomorrow. Uh, my mentor, Steve Springer, he says that if you haven't gone 0 for 30 to 12 times, then you haven't played this game long enough. And you know, that's the truth. So here's the thing I want you guys to understand. When you play this base, when you play the game of baseball, all it takes is for one guy to like you. All it takes is for one guy to like you to change your career forever. Uh, Evan uh, got drafted, didn't get drafted out of high school, went to college, uh, ended up having some trouble uh, with some with substance abuse, went into rehab, got out of rehab, Worked as a janitor, worked at a ski lift in Colorado, I believe. Just was all over, and he went from being a janitor to playing in the big leagues. And you know, the moral of the story is that you never know. You never know. All it takes is for one guy to like you, to, uh, to change your baseball career. And if you decide today to never give up, if you decide today to never give up, it's going to be impossible to fail. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any thoughts about this, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to hear the share button, the like button. Uh, tweet me if you have any questions. You can email me, and I'll see you guys next time. Good luck.